Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Ready Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us we have the Tivdio V111. It's an AM FM stereo long wave short wave portable radio and this is review 2.0. I originally reviewed this back in December of 2017 and the original purchase price was $10.59 from eBay. Typically now you can get it for $20 from Amazon or around 15 or under on eBay still. So here it is, Tiv Dio, the box, the picture of the radio, model number. We got some bullet points there, looks pretty nice. USB power supply, timer clock, power switch, shortwave, TV sound, 13 band, FM stereo, sweet. It says 80 memory. It technically isn't 80, but we'll go over that. Key lock, okay, so basic stuff there. Um, here we go. So this radio, you have to get it in 10K or 9K. So make sure if you're in the Americas, you get 10K. If you're, I believe, Asia or Europe, get a 9K. You uh, definitely can't switch it with the radio. I tried looking at the instructions, and it will not allow you to change that. So just so you know, on the back here, portable emergency radio. Interesting that they're calling it emergency radio. It's a basic shortwave radio. LCD backlight display, 60 station presets. So you can see there was a Interesting thing where it says 80 memory, and it says 60 here. We'll explain what that is. Alarm clock, sleep timer, AA batteries. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up, see what we get. All right, box is empty. Okay, so first things first, we got a pair of headphones. I haven't tried these yet. I don't know what pair I like to use, but these don't look too bad. Work at a pinch. All right, next we have the user manual. Um, the English uh, translation isn't perfect, uh, so take your time. Uh, when you read this, you'll understand what I'm saying. It's like you'll read it twice and like wonder what they meant. Uh, but then they have different operations for the buttons. Short press does one thing, long press does another, and then holding the button will do a different thing. So uh, they have different rules. Like I think this talked about keyboard key labeling rules, um, red function, it's long press. Uh, short press for white function. Some functions on when the radio is off. So, yeah, we'll go over it. It's pretty basic and not too difficult. So, there's an automatic mode where it's searching stores for you. And we'll go over that too. So, you got an alarm clock feature. And then here's some specs. So, it has this really cool expanded FM. So, you can choose between 87 to 108, 64 to 108, 76 to 90. That's pretty neat. Medium wave for the 10K is 520 to 1710. You have a long wave band, 153 to 279. And the short wave is 3.2 to 21.9. And then there's your tuning increments right there. Sensitivity, okay, there you are. So we'll go to the radio. It's in this like little plastic bag. Here we are, cool, we've got the clock showing. All right, so let's go over dimensions and I'm gonna kind of just lower this down just a little bit. All right, so dimensions, it's five inches across, three inches high, and it's one inch in depth if you include the bulge of the speaker cabinet part here. So over here, it's three quarters of an inch. So it gives you an idea. So I measured the thickest part of the radio there. All right, so let's go size comparison. We have my ever popular CC pocket. Give you an idea. The size of the to Dio here reminds me of the, uh, what is it, the R9012, the 920C from Texan, I believe. It has that same kind of speaker style and look to it. Here we got the Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. Sweet. He can do it like no one can. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, features on this radio. So, there's quite a few. Let's go over them. Left hand side, we got the wrist strap. Sweet. Used to carry. That's pretty much how I'd hold it. Just run through a few fingers there, make sure you know if it fell out of your hand, you got a, a grip on it. Front of the radio, Tiv Dio, kind of a cool label. Now, I think they changed their name to Retechus. Uh, I just ordered a Tiv Dio V115, and it came in, instead of Tiv Dio, it said Retechus on it. So I think they changed their name. So just want to give you guys a heads up uh, if they still make this radio or not. It might be a different name, but same company. 
uh, and might just be a rebrand of a different radio. I took this radio apart and could not find any other manufacturing marks, so I'm not sure who makes this radio, if it is to deal or not, so just want another heads up. Speaker here has a very pleasant sound. It's two inches. Uh, it's a nice, uh, nicely made speaker. I was checking that out when I was inside of it. Over here, display, we have an LCD. You can see it has a uh, clock running there, AM, PM. does not have a 24-hour clock, unfortunately. I do like 24-hour clocks myself. FM stereo, medium wave, short wave DSP receiver, so we know it's a DSP. Let's go over to buttons. We have quite a few. This first button says favorite. If I press that button, it'll instantly turn the radio on and go to my favorite FM station right away. So that's kind of nice, but it's only for FM. Uh, but it's just a neat way to quick go to your station without having to fuss with the on button and then tuning to whatever. You can go right to your favorite station in one shot, which is great. Uh, the button below it is a shortwave uh, band select button. and also has a secondary function to set the time. And if you quick press this when it powers off, it's also your alarm. So I can go to my alarm setting and back to time. And if I hold this, it'll go into time setting mode. Over here, we have the lock feature and the M plus feature. And this is just to go through your memories pretty quickly. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty basic. Here we have a uh, medium wave band select button. Also acts as your hour set button. Memory to add a memory to the radio manually and to do an auto scan search and save, which is nice. Button below it, FM band select button. Also toggles as your minute set button. Now these are interesting. You have a mute button and an on off button. These do the exact same thing. I don't know why they even put it there. Because if you tap this, it doesn't mute. If you tap this, mute, of course. If you hit this button, it'll actually turn the radio on. And so will this button. And this will also toggle the sleep function, same as this on off button. So they're like, I don't know what they were thinking of, but they do the exact same thing. So um, volume up and down, pretty simple. Tuning up and down. The nice thing about this tuning is really cool about this radio. So you got your step up, step down. Seek forward, seek back, so it seeks the next station, seeks the, you know, down to the next station. You can also press and hold, and it starts going quick, and then it goes really fast. So you can get through the bands very quickly this way, especially with shortwave, um, when there's no um, quick tune, like on uh, Eaton's. This is kind of like a quick tune. It's really nice, and I'll show you that. Here's some more writing, B111. Right-hand side here, we have the headphone jack. FM stereo sounds really good. A pleasing experience with the headphones. Actually, I like it. You do, uh, on AM, do hear the buzzing and different artifacts that the DSP produces. It's not perfect, um, but uh, on FM, it sounds pretty decent. Here we have a DC in of 5 volts, a micro USB. Um, it does not charge the batteries. Uh, I don't think there's a charging circuit in here. I looked, it didn't look like it had one, so I wouldn't, if, if you put batteries in here, make sure that they're rechargeable if you're going to hook that up. You can see if it charges them, but I, I'm not going to do that because I don't trust this radio because it doesn't say anything about charging. I'm just going to use this as a DC power source. So I take the batteries out, hook my USB in, and then I can power the radio without the batteries. That's how I would do it. Uh, here we have that dedicated power on off switch. So we can actually turn off the clock to save on battery, but it's still running in the background. It just turns the LCD screen off. It's an extra little lock feature, which is nice. Top of the radio, we have the antenna, which swivels 360 degrees and goes out to 17 and a half inches. Gotta love that. It stows away real nice. Back of the radio, we have the Tivdio full band digital demodulation stereo radio. Quick, say that five times fast. <laughs> There's your frequency ranges. I don't know why it says 50 to 108. That must be for a different version because there is no 50 to 108. Um, and then this 175 to 220. That's a special, definitely special frequency there. Um, There's your medium wave uh, and then the long wave shown in brackets. And then here we have the short wave 3.2 to 21.9, 13 band. Okay, then we got a little flip out thing here, which is really nice to have a little flip out stand. Down here we have the batteries. This one's tricky to open, and I'm not gonna do it on camera, but somebody wanted me to tell them which way the battery is going. That's which, if you can see that on your TV or tablet, the batteries, the positive terminals go to the right of the radio when you're putting them in. So remember, positive to the right. Okay, so let's talk about FM reception, and we'll turn this on so we can hear tonight. So FM reception. This is great. This radio is awesome on FM. For such an inexpensive radio, it definitely is a winner here. Um, it gets very good, which is a four-star rating. So I rate it on fair, good, very good. Uh, sorry, fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Uh, and so in between there also, this got a very good grade. It found 77 to 80 stations. Just absolutely amazing sensitivity. Uh, loved it. The FM selectivity was good to very good. 
Um, it did not earn a very good or excellent because it is a DSP, but it's the bigger stations were bleeding over a little bit, uh, some of the bigger local stations, and it was swamping out the fainter stations that I knew existed on certain radios, and this radio couldn't pick them up because those bands were getting kind of a, that bleed over. So it gets a good to very good rating, which is still amazing. This radio is way above average on FM. So for such an inexpensive radio, that kind of like really surprised me. Very happy with it. So that's the FM reception report. So let's go ahead and do an audio test. So what I'm going to do is just hit the favorite button. It's going to go right to Radio Tiber. I changed it. I had 2.9. Zoom in. Okay, it gives a basic idea of the music. I'm gonna go ahead and you can mute like that. You get the Z's. So yeah, as you can tell, it's good. It's not super bassy, but it's got good mids and highs, which I like. Uh, so I was comparing this to the Tiv DOV 115 again because you know they're kind of counterparts, and uh, the Tiv DOV 115 has really good bass response, but this has better highs to it. And so it's, depending on what music you're listening to, you might like listening to on this radio versus the others that are more bassy. So. Uh, let's show you how this tunes. So we're in the FM band right now. If I was to just touch this, this tunes in 50 kilohertz steps. As you can see there, um, you can press and let go, and it'll, let me just get this to seek here. It'll seek the next strongest station. And then the really cool thing is you can press and hold, and it goes pretty quick there. Um, and then if you press and hold and keep on it, it'll go really fast. You can see it tuning. Oh, it does start out low. Look at that. I did not know it started out that low on the band. So it, it does go all the way down to 50. On the book, it didn't say that, I don't think. That is pretty neat. Pretty impressive. Let's just 
show you where that bottom is on this radio here. It's, and you can change the where it starts in the band, so you don't have to start on this kind of band here. I'll show you how that goes too. So this, I'm, per, I'm on the 50 to 108, so that's pretty amazing. So you can change that by hitting FM again. So 64 to 108, 76 to 108, and then this is the normal, or the one I was on, sorry. So 64, 76, and then the 50 to 108. So amazing. Um, so that's how you toggle that, just by hitting the FM band button. So cool. So you saw how that works there. Um, the memory function is pretty basic. Uh, you can see there's a 1 up in the right top right corner. That's what memory it's set on. You would hit the memory button once. Flashes, you'd use up and down, tell what slot to put it in. And then once you know, just confirm it with memory. If you press and hold memory, which you can accidentally do, which is one problem with this radio. I was trying to do a cool little shortwave thing. I was saving my shortwave stations manually. And then I accidentally held it too long. And then it went into an auto search and save and it automatically wiped out what I was working on. So kind of a pain. You probably won't use that auto search and save too much because you only have 20 memories per band. And yeah, so typically you'll have 60 usable memories. Um, you can't have 20 on the long wave because if you go to long wave, Let's go to long wave here. Um, there's just not enough. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and that's it. So you have fifteen memories on the long wave. So technically, this radio has uh, sixty plus fifteen if you had all those long wave stations. So I don't know if you do or not where you're from, but we have none in that range here where I'm at. So there's our AM band, and then short wave. So what we're going to do is kind of a quick little primer on the memories. Um, so you have 20 per band, just remember that. Uh, and of course, only 15 usable on the long wave. And you know about the favorite, you can set that really easily by on your FM only. You find an FM station you like, just press and hold, it resets it to whatever you want. And then of course, the lock feature locks the radio out. So we're going to unmute this. And we're going to see if we can find it on short wave tonight. I don't think I have anything in the background. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and extend this, hook up a wire, and see if we hear anything in the shortwave tonight. That would be nice. Extend the antenna, and I'm going to clip my little, this little wire here for my PL, Texan PL380. This guy here, clip right to the top. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to let Seek and see if we can find anything. It goes fairly quick. Um, I... I'm going to perform some uh, daytime and nighttime band scans so you guys can see how this works with a longer wire attached outside. It becomes a little bit more sensitive. We'll see what it can find indoors here, if possible. Hope for something. So, yeah, we'll just wait. Do, 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 do. Go fairly quick, though, for this type of radio. Let's see if it can find anything here. I'll stop it on 5 megahertz and see if it picks up anything there. It's usually pretty easy to pick things up. So we're going to go ahead and just see if I'm just a little early. You saw the time was 10.41 p.m. Central Standard. And I'm just not getting anything right now. Stations do come in on this radio. I've heard quite a bit. So I can get my antenna up a little higher here. Four, three, seven, zero, one, five, oh, five, three. Forty-five. The first tier ever shipped is in Genesis. Uh, in Genesis 3, 8, 9, so they hurt them. They had Adam and his wife hid themselves in the presence of the Lord among them. And the Lord called him and Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And, and, and here we find man with a broken heart. On a little... Capítulos 
para enriquecer el proyecto, diseñar un nuevo ordenamiento jurídico que incluya elementos no contenidos en la de 1976 y sus posteriores modificaciones. We'll just go up the band a little bit here, and I'll show you the, um, the band select, which is kind of fun. And then, of course, the tuning, how fast it goes with shortwave, with the quick tune kind of set up, set up going there with the tuning buttons. So you can get on frequency pretty quick. I said it's not so sensitive downstairs here, but when I was upstairs, it was really pulling them in, so... We'll go up to 10 megahertz and stop. Even more so than that, know that you will never wake up a day on this earth alone. I love how Robbie has said that. God is with you always. You just need... Yeah. Just a fun little radio. Hopefully get them cheap. I'm going to look on Amazon and see if you can still get these on Amazon. And if you can, I'll link it below. And you can check out that link and uh, definitely um, give it a try if you like this radio. It's 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 a very interesting radio, uh, but buy it if it's low cost. If it's, I don't know, I'm, we'll talk about final thoughts in a little bit when I'm done, but uh, it actually is a pretty well-made radio for what it is. So let's see if we get to 10. And then we will show you the tuning process, and we'll go to AM band, show you what happens over there. So FM, amazing. Shortwave is fairly decent with a wire. Definitely need the wire. And uh, let's see, we're almost at 10, and there we are. So let's see if it picks up WWV, which I don't think it will. It's... Okay. So neat thing about this radio, okay, sh shortwave, here's the bands. You can just go right to the different bands by hitting the shortwave button over and over. So you can see all the different bands. It's telling you what band you're on right there, I believe. Pretty basic. Now you look here, it doesn't start at 3.2, which you wish it would. I don't know why it doesn't. So if you get to this point, we're like, well, I want to go 3.2. So you just press and hold the tuning down and watch it zip. So now it just goes cranks right down there. So now you can get right on frequency pretty quick. So 3.2, you're at the bottom of the band. And if you want to get moving, you just hold this down and watch how quickly we go up the band. So you're able to, you know, get to your 6,000 pretty quick without having to cycle through anything. And you can get right to your station that you want to listen to. Okay, so let's go ahead and disconnect this and we'll go to the medium wave, see what it can do there. All right. Let's go ahead and hit the medium wave button. Time is 10.46. It has a clock here, but you turn it right on and off. It's 10.46 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois, USA. And we will do a little medium wave band scan here at night. Uh, this radio is okay for locals during the day. Not so great for semi-locals. It's pretty weak. Well, again, when I was opening this radio up, there's a little baby ferrite antenna, probably about that big. It really looks unimpressive. It's, it's just radio isn't meant for medium wave. It's just for your locals, basically. And some semi-locals at night. So let's go ahead and turn this up. And let's go through the band. I don't know how loud this is going to get with my locals. Hmm, 530. It's possibly Brampton, Ontario, CIAO. WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. Local. With a government that we can't come close to. Let's go up to Nashville. Here we go. Here we go. So that is cool. WSN, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. 
should I start Jamal Williams? I go Goodwin. Matchups too good. Thanks. 855-212-4227. Local. 855-212-4227. CKGM, Montreal, Quebec, 690, that's nice, 763 miles, did not expect to get that, first time I've heard on this radio, WLW, Cincinnati, Grand Miles, don't be that guy. Millions of men struggle to perform and most never find a solution. Until now, you need... So 740 is CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. That is so good. <laughs> nice. And this is interesting too. 750, WSB Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. Now, I've been using this the last three, four days. First time I'm hearing it. Must be a good evening. Because the antenna in here, like I said, is just a tiny little thing. So 760 is getting swamped out by some other station, maybe 780. I can barely hear it. This is Detroit, so you think I'd get it. Private Casualty Insurance. They're offering a 2.5% APR on new funds deposited WDM? into your... So we're just going to go up to 830. WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles. WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky, about 300 miles. By 7, 28 to 21. Another occurrence happened as well about Notre Dame, but first let me get to, uh, let's get to the Sanford head coach, David Shaw, because we just it's pretty loud for 850. I don't think that'd be clear right under. I'm going to check here with my pocket. Yeah, maybe it is. KOA Denver. 890 miles. CGBC, Toronto, Ontario. 460 miles. That's another first one. WWL, New Orleans. 865 miles. Okay, so you get the idea. I'm just going to kind of zip up the band here. It has fast tune here, too. TBK Pittsburgh. 450 miles. Old time radio. Sweet. Terrific football game. A lot of hard hitting. A lot of hard running. Then Iowa, 280 miles. And then let's just, uh, these are like my semi locals. WTAM, kind of quiet there. KMOX, some music going on the weekends. St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles. And then we'll just, uh, okay, WHAM, Rochester, New York, 545 miles. And I'm just going to take this right up the dial here and go up to 16, because we're going to do some band scans later. So we get CHHA. So this is Toronto, Ontario, CHHA. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this off. And then we'll do your final thoughts. I think I showed you the sleep mode. Oh, no, I didn't. So if you do sleep mode, you just press and hold this. Um, but, sorry, you just do a... Make sure you quick press, quick press, and then you just cycle the minutes you want for the sleep function, say 30 minutes, you let go, it automatically go into sleep mode. It won't tell you it's in sleep mode, but it is. I'll give you an idea how that works, and then we'll just turn this off. Okay, cool. And then of course you got your power switch where you can turn the LCD screen off if you want to, or let the clock run. So, all right. So final thoughts on Tiv Do V111. Do you, is it worth a buy? Yeah. If they, you can get this radio for under 20 bucks, give it a shot. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I enjoy using it. Um, there are better, better radios out there for the money. 
This one isn't too bad. It kind of reminds me of the PL606 with kind of like these button combinations where you really don't have much. Well, 606 does have a tuning wheel. This does not have a tuning wheel. Wish this did. That'd be really cool. Uh, but it kind of gives me a little bit of remembrance of that. Uh, but it's fun. It's easy. It's it's really curvy. It's really slim. Uh, it's easy to pocket. It does get good shortwave reception. Um, it does decently on the medium wave at night, as you heard tonight. Um, so it definitely is a pickup. Definitely for FM. So if you want an FM radio also, especially with stereo with the headphones, this is great for the money. So definitely a buy from me at a reasonable price, say, of 20 or under. Or if you can get it for 15 or under, even better. So... Uh, there it is. So if you like the presentation of Tibdio, give me a big like. I appreciate it. Two, if you're interested in Tibdio radios, now the Retechus brand, uh, go ahead and hit subscribe, hit the, hit the bell icon if you haven't already, and I'll have more radios coming from them soon. Uh, also, uh, comment below what you think about the Tibdio V111. Do you own one? Do you have the Happy version? Do you have the Simons version or Siemens version? I think there's different ones. Uh, so yeah, let me know. You know. Let me know your uh, thoughts on it. You know, what your same if you get the same medium wave issues during the day that I do. Yeah, because during the day it's not as good as it was tonight. So definitely not pulling in a long station. So um, the last but not least thing, join me after hours here on Patreon where a lot happens <laughs> uh, between the shows. You guys will love it. Uh, come check it out. A lot, of, a lot of cool content for you guys. I say in every video now, if you're not familiar with Patreon, it's a place where people can go support their uh, favorite channels um, and support their, you know, support the channel and keep things going, keep things rolling. And of course, uh, you know, belong to something special because, uh, you get a lot of cool perks and extras that I do outside the, uh, YouTube channel. So it's a lot of good, a lot of good times there. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Take care and we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.